life-destroying amounts of bass. <laughs> Mate, it's the Skull Candy Crushers, and Crushers is right. <laughs> People assume that I just hate these because they're not about balanced audio. It's not about hearing the music the way the artist intended. It's about that big stupid bass. <laughs> Personally, I'm all for it. <laughs> Any ways to experience music differently, mate, I'll take it. Skull Candy Crushers have been going for a while. I think the first ones actually took AA batteries. <laughs> At the time, I remember saying that they're built pretty good, except for the fact that they don't swivel, which is dumb, because our ears face forwards, right? So good headphones swivel a little bit. These don't. And um, the ear cups pinch. They don't fold flat enough. And so, yeah, I found them very uncomfortable. It's mainly because my head's huge and fat. Then uh, a lot of people tuned in to say that <laughs> theirs tended to snap in half. <laughs> so no, they're not actually built all that good and they're not comfortable at all. There's the magical bass slider. Literally, it's a bass slider. You want more bass, you drag it up. Micro USB, which sucks. Doesn't matter, these are the old ones, as you'll find out. And uh, when you tap these, you can feel stuff vibrating in there. Haptic engine, or like a diaphragm or something. So I believe the way that's doing is, it's got a speaker in there that's doing the mids and the top end, and it's got something in there that's just doing the smashing. I hope you hate your speakers, by the way, uh, because the, the what you're gonna hear in a second, like, people reported in to say that it upset their speaker systems. I guess if you have it too loud, like, we gotta compare against the Herdo 600s. We gotta run them through the freakish ears on a stand. I'm not gonna touch the volumes. You, you're gonna get it as is. Someone told me that it upset their speakers. <laughs> Oh, silly me. I forgot to put it on Max Whack. <laughs> uh, mulligan. Hey, go again. Unbelievable. Literally unlistenable. Literally unlistenable. I, I can't do it. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> it reminds me of a cheap subwoofer in the boot of a Ford Fairlane. Hey, I've got no other sets of headphones that do this for me. You know, the same way I love my high-end ones that are just really revealing and show me details is that I love these because like you put them on your friend's greasy head and just destroy them. <laughs> but yeah, they're not built that good and they're really uncomfortable and unlistenable at the top whack. Well, that doesn't matter, mate, because there's new ones. I mean, these came out back in 2020, good year. Never forget it. The Skull Candy Crusher Evos. Now, right out the gates, these are built so much better, <laughs> so much. They swivel, they swivel both ways. Look, you can lay them down that way or that way. Not all headphones even do that. Like, it's actually nice. Like, apparently people's hair gets pinched by like this silicon whatever bit. Not super deep ear cups, but they, they fit really nice. These are actually comfortable. Uh, really good physical buttons, no crappy touch ones. There's the slider, it, that has not gone away. Oh, USB-C. Oh, USB-C, thank you. <laughs> hey, Apple, sucked in. You have to do this soon, you know, and no one's complaining but you. And I think these actually look good too. Something I've liked about these is they're very understated. Like, you imagine just ridiculous stinky bass headphones to be like bright red or puke green and like to be very ostentatious. But no, you, you're just destroying your hearing in privacy. This does have like fancy settings where like you go in and track your hearing and it will create personalized presets just for you. I, I never deal with that stuff. I never even play with EQ. However the headphones sound is however they sound for me. But before we do the stinky bass, we gotta hear them normal style. Like with the first ones, uh, with the bass all the way off, they're fine. 
They do have extra top end. That's that's very normal. You know, they got that V thing going. People like that. These are fine. I would happily sit with these on you know, watching Netflix or YouTube stuff. That's modern audio for you. I mean, it's like, it's its quite a well-known recipe, the hearing range of humans and what we like. Are they audiophile grade? Nah. You know, the real audiophile stuff, it feels like it's going out further and all the instruments are more separated and all that. But honestly, most people would be really happy with that. But I know what you want and you're gonna get it. And that thing that you want is Max Wack. Interesting, huh? It didn't completely destroy the speaker system you chose to play that through. Maybe your smart fridge. It's like I said in the original video, uh, that's not how these sound exactly, because these literally vibrate against your greasy head, and so up against a microphone, it's gonna create strange distortions and whatnot. But I mean, that said, these literally are unlistenable on the absolute max whatever. I can't listen to them with any sort of volume that lets me hear any other part of the music. It's just so much. These, I can listen to at max whack. But as I said, these sound different in real life. These have way cleverer, vibrate whatever's going on inside. When I tap them, they don't make a noise like these do. But I find these vibrate way more. <laughs> so there's less actual bass frequency stuff destroying the music. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still really bassy. <laughs> but it's more the sensation that sells it. I think the new ones are way more refined. I mean, my analogy, like if this is like a cheap subwoofer in the boot of a Ford Fairlane, this is a small nightclub with the music too loud. But this slams way harder with them actually on, on the Max Wack, which I can stand. You can actually hear all the other parts of the music. It's a way bigger bigger experience. Even if it doesn't seem in this video, in person, these are way more fun. That's exactly how I'd like it to be. Well done, Skull Candy. You've actually vastly improved such a niche, hilarious experience, all the while on low bass settings that are totally tolerable. And these are, you know, regular Bluetooth headphones, you know, where you can use assistance, and they've got microphones. Let's hear the microphones. So I make this one time, I'm like super into bass, and I figured, well, maybe it's now the time to try and speak to whales, but I forget if they listen in super high pitch or super low pitch. So I just started playing the Friends theme through like whole piles of subwoofers and tweeters at different beaches, mate, to see, see which ones would actually attract all the whales. So I've got all these subwoofers and tweeters set up at different locations, mate. Well, it's basically bankrupt me, mate. Not that I had much money at all. And so like, I'm running all these battery backup systems to get this going, mate. But it turns out, like, I've been self-medicating by, like, drinking paint. And it turns out I've just kind of gone on a bit of a stupor, mate. And, like, I've just set up in, like, people's backyards and just started, like, listening out of a small Bluetooth speaker. I, I don't even know where I am, mate. So the original Skull Candy microphone is not good. That's, that's pretty typical for Bluetooth things of any kind. Even crappy knockoff cabled ones sound better. That's a cable for you. Bring it back, Apple. And uh, then interestingly that the, the Evos are far worse. Like, far worse. <laughs> Why? Why? It's a new one! You improved everything else! USB-C fits really good, swivel guy, like, you know, better bass response with it slamming harder and being more tolerable, and the microphone is worse. And yes, they do have aux in, which is nice, but um, I completely drained these of bats. I plugged in the aux in to see what would happen with no battery at all, and yeah, naturally, none of the crazy bass stuff works. They were just really uncomfortable, kind of cheap headphones with none of the fun bass. And I can only assume that's what's gonna happen to these guys. You know, that's Bluetooth headphones for you. When those bats die, your headphones die. So yes, there is orcs, but no guarantee of the fun. Well, do I rate them? Absolutely. <laughs> I, I totally do. Well, I, I can't use these anymore. These now feel so unrefined. Like it was really funny because I'd never experienced headphones that did silly bass like that. But now how refined these are for like the same idea and in my opinion it just slams way harder it's it's really fun um 
Absolutely. As someone who likes having different sets of headphones, because they all sound different, it's why I don't play with EQs, this fits into the group perfectly. There are no other headphones in the horde that do it this dumb. I mean, naturally, when it comes to proper bass extension and feeling it the way the artist intended, you know, my orders the LCD 2s are probably going to be the ones that I pick. But if I want dumb, or if like friends go, oi, give me something that's ridiculous and hilarious, I'm going to wrap these over their head. And we're gonna laugh at them. But mate, to send us out, go on, let's compare both on max base settings, one after the other. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, mate, because $1 a month, I do extra videos. There are extra videos on my drum thing, which is my drum thing, and Garbage Time, which is my car thing, and I stream drums on float planes six times a week if you want to hear me yell and things. But my $1 a month for extra dank pods. I really like vintage phones. I always have. And so um, I'm gonna torch ears. Some Nokia's arrived in the mail. And I'd like to see if they even stink and work. It's like the very first thing I gotta do when it comes to making an old video is like, well, does it turn on? Is there a video at all? <laughs> so yeah, some of these very last generation Nokia's before it all just kind of fell apart. So thanks so much and mate, I'll see you all next time.